Hello, my name is Brittany and I'm an admin here at Rinald Zero Imports. Roku just released a great video on the 2023 highlights for the new items. Keep in mind the pre-order discount program for those items is ending soon, so don't miss out on those discounts. Once again, Roku has sensational highlights up its sleeve for 2023. One of these is without a doubt the launch of the completely newly developed steam locomotive P8 or Class 38. Due to many requests and wishes from our customers, we have decided to include this model in our edition range. The development of the original Prussian P8 passenger train locomotives as the later Class 38 locomotives were then designated in both East and West Germany represented a milestone in railway history. The characteristic feature for the P8 was the larger space between the middle and rear coupling axles. A high number of these locomotives were produced, 3,700, and their appearance therefore diversified greatly over the years. Small, large or no smoke deflectors, diesel ejectors instead of round funnels, and riveted or later welded smoke boxes are only some of the differences in design details. After the turmoil resulting from the two world wars, they were used by almost all European railway administrations. The completely newly developed Roco model is included in the edition segment due to its special model design. We begin with some true classics. The German Federal Railways model is an Epoch 4 model. All details have been implemented accordingly, whether the rain gutters in classic divided design, the freestanding locomotive sign, or the feed pump in Knorr design. The German State Railway model is also an Epoch 4 locomotive. It features, amongst other things, the Wagner smoke deflectors, the DR design rain gutters, or the VEB type feed pump. In addition, prototypical lines and handrails on the boiler and the driver's cab and the delicately crafted control featuring distinctive wheels as well as the tender with its intricate rows of rivets and a finely perforated reproduction of the bogies in American design will delight model railway fans. Technically too, the addition model is of outstanding quality. A completely newly developed dynamic steam system provides even more powerful stroke emissions from the chimney. The large loudspeaker is also accommodated in the boiler area. The drive is located in the tender and ensures elegant, even running. With the model of the Class 288 double diesel locomotive, which is also a part of the addition range, we are fulfilling another wish for many of our fans. During the Second World War, heavy and powerful diesel locomotives were required by the Deutsche Wehrmacht. For each half unit of these diesel electric double locomotives, a DC generator directly powered by the diesel engine supplied the electric traction motors on each wheel set with power. Initially put into service as the D311, the engines were later operated for many years by the German Federal Railways as V188 or as Class 288 locomotives before being scrapped. This year, Roco is fulfilling requests for this particular model. The high quality and detailed implementation of the addition model catch the eye immediately. The two locomotive housings are decorated with finely crafted rows of rivets on the sidewalls and the roof panels. All the ventilator slats are deeply engraved and thus give a highly realistic feeling of depth. The bullish front end of the engine delights connoisseurs with its harmonious rounded roof, separately attached windscreen wipers, and delicately crafted lamps. A glance at the transition area between the two halves of the locomotive will reveal the many connecting lines. The chassis area stands out due to its three-dimensional contouring as well as the many engravings and attached parts. In terms of technology, this heavyweight engine impresses with two driven locomotive halves which guarantee particularly high tractive force. In the digital versions, both locomotive halves have two large loudspeakers each and produce the earthly sound of the large original perfectly for model rails.
The fan impellers displayed under a perforated grill can be activated at the touch of a button. The lighting functions also leave nothing to be desired, whether engine room lighting, driver's cab lighting, the illuminated fittings, or the control box. The new construction is ideal for use with a comprehensive freight train set, and thus brings a piece of railway history to your home layout. For Swiss Railway fans, a contemporary model is to roll onto HO rails with the short version of the Class 44. The history of the RE44 began in 1960 with the order of six prototypes of a new multi purpose locomotive. This locomotive design was a true innovation. It featured only one roof current collector and was decorated with chrome lettering. The prototypes proved their worth and formed the prelude to what became by far the largest vehicle series ever procured in the Swiss Confederation. The following differences are apparent in comparison to the prototypes. An extended bumper, a different color scheme distribution, larger engine room windows, and different bogies. The only disadvantage proved to be the single current collector. For this reason, Locomotives in the second series, constructed from 1969 onwards, were provided with two single-arm current collectors. Furthermore, they were of a different length. Often requested and now realized in new design, the most famous of all short Bobos, as this locomotive is affectionately called in Switzerland, is to roll onto the HO tracks as the 11108. As is to be expected from Rocco, the model impresses with a design exactly corresponding to the original. This includes the 3D engraved locomotive numbers and the Aero logo, as well as the SBB logos which are painted on. The front ends of the models are just as carefully designed. Handrails in prototypical material thickness or the finely executed thread plate will delight model railway fans. Depending on the design, the models feature train destination panels in the driver's cab. The roof also looks impressive, with its realistic line layout and the fan grills made from perforated etched sheet. The large base frame and an additional weight attached from above ensure high tractive force. As a perfect complement, two colorful wagon sets are also to be launched which are modeled on the so-called Boltzberg Interregio trains. Let's take a look at the Czech Republic and the neighboring countries, where the class T466.2 diesel locomotives are still in service today, reason enough for Rocco to commemorate this special vehicle. In the 1970s, the former Czechoslovak State Railways, or CSD, were in great need of powerful diesel freight locomotives for medium weight shunting and line service. For this purpose, the lighter T466.2 variant was derived from the industrial locomotive type T448. Starting in 1977, it was manufactured by CKD in Prague in nine construction series with 500 units and was operated by the CSD until 1986. The four-axle diesel-electric locomotives have two front projections and a driver's cab located above the rear bogey. The locomotives are still used today on the entire network of the Czech and Slovak railways, mainly in freight traffic but also in passenger traffic. In the meantime, some engines have also been sold to private railway companies which operate them in various colorful liveries. The new T466.2 is a true Eastern European classic. Rocco designers have paid great attention to all the refinements and subtleties of the original during implementation. The many railings and shunter handle rails immediately catch the eye. They are designed in prototypical material thickness. On the roof section, the freestanding roof hooks and the perforated protective grills through which the fan impellers below can be viewed are particularly striking. The low motor installation permits an unobstructed view through the replicated driver's cab. The freestanding sandpipes, the braking system, and other characteristic components have been mounted onto the chassis.
Let's return to Germany to focus on a model which has been technically updated, the electric locomotive 185077-5 belonging to the BDAG. Changing market conditions in the ever-expanding EU led to the German rail needing to use its traction units more frequently across borders. The order from DB Cargo for 200 new units was the main impetus for the development of the Trax AC1. The locomotive, directly derived from the Class 145 but with a modified design and class designation, could now be used for both the AC voltage systems common in Europe. The new Class 185 was mainly used to replace the old Class 140 standard design locomotives. Later, this class was supplemented by further successor designs. Roco places value on its promise to continuously update its products. For this reason, the Trax 1 family is to be relaunched with comprehensive optical and technical updates. The windscreen wipers are now separately attached as detailed replicas of the original components. Also new, handle rails made from painted metal on the front of the locomotive add sophistication to the model. New snow plows of varying designs are now directly mounted on the chassis and can be replaced by open or closed components depending on the type of operation. On the roof, current collectors, which are invisibly mounted to permit a free view through them, look strikingly realistic. The model is illuminated with LEDs and the driver's cab can now also be lit up at the touch of a button. All models feature a Plux interface. In the digital versions, the models are produced with prototypical sound functions. Because the thrill of anticipation often produces the greatest joy, we shall allow ourselves at this point to inform you about two highlights that are still in the planning stage. The new long-distance double-deck trains belonging to the SBB connect all the different regions within Switzerland. With 62 train sets currently on order, the RABE 502 trains form the largest train fleet in SBB's long-distance service. This service covers large parts of Switzerland, with stations such as Geneva, Zurich, St. Gallen, and Basel on the daily timetables. Rocco is pleased to realize this important milestone in Swiss railway history as a finely detailed model in 187th scale. In an initial step, the four-part versions of the IR100 as well as the eight-part IR200 are to be implemented. As usual for Rocco designs, the models will feature a wealth of functions in addition to fine detailing. Nightjet belonging to the OBB The train as an environmentally friendly alternative to air travel is a pioneer in terms of sustainable transport. Since the end of 2016, the OBB is one of the largest transport companies in Europe to operate a regular and attractive night train service with popular destinations. The OBB and Siemens Mobility will put a total of 33 seven-part train sets of the new Nightjet into service over the next few years. They each consist of two seating coaches, three couchette coaches, and two sleepers, which offer the highest level of comfort and a high-quality interior design. Parallel to the prototype, Rocco is also working on the detailed implementation of this new super train. As usual with Rocco products, the models will delight with optimized operating characteristics paired with high detailing. In addition to switchable interior lighting, the train destination displays can also be illuminated at the touch of a button. Well, I hope you enjoyed Roco's video displaying the 2023 highlights. If you have any questions or want to order some of these great models, feel free to call us or drop us an email at info at